Hello and welcome to this quick tech video. My name is Aaron Silverman, a technician here at VirtuWorks. Today I'm going to take you step by step through the procedure to set up MFA on your mobile device. For our example today, we are setting up on an Apple device, but rest assured that the procedure is virtually identical on all other devices. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open a browser and navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash aka dot ms forward slash setup mfa a link to the site will be provided in the video description below this page will prompt you to supply your email address and password and once successfully entered you will be presented with the option to stay signed in or not this is a preferential choice if you're the only user on the machine it's fine to stay signed in otherwise choose no to move on the next screen is indicating that more information is required hit the next button on the next screen presented to you, you're going to drop down the selection box under step one and select mobile app. Beneath that, where it asks how you're going to use the application, select the top option, receive notifications for verification, and then click the setup button. It might be worth noting that you can opt for the second choice here, use verification code. What this will do is prompt the user for a six digit code that you'll see shortly, as opposed to the approved deny push notification. It is generally the best practice to use the push feature but the alternate option is available. Open your mobile device and open the device specific app store. Search for Microsoft Authenticator, then click the button to get it. Once the app download is complete, open the app, agree to the terms of use, and then select the option to scan a QR code. Give the app permissions it requests for access to the camera. Place the code in the view of your mobile device's camera. It happens very quickly once the code is read, but the device will indicate that it is parsing. You may be prompted to allow the app to send you notifications. Once successfully complete, the app will display a six-digit, one-time password code with a 30-second countdown timer to the left. Now let's go back to the web page and click the Next button. Verify your mobile number on the next page and then click the Done button. A last page will load, asking if you want to add an alternate contact method should your mobile device become lost or inactive. If you add a number, be sure to click the Save button, otherwise click Cancel to move on. Now let's test if the Authenticator app is working properly. Open a new browser page to portal.office.com and sign in with your email address and password. Click the circle in the top right with your initials and select View Account. Once the page loads, click the link for security info in the left navigation pane, second from the top. If the setup was successful, you will have received a push notification on your phone asking for you to approve of the pending sign-in. This is how the system ensures that it is really you when you are signing in. It is also worth mentioning that this Authenticator app works with other services besides Microsoft. Several sites and services now have provisions for MFA and will work with the Authenticator app seamlessly. And that's it! You successfully configured MFA for your account, installed the Microsoft Authenticator app, and have synchronized the two to provide your account a more robust method for protecting your accounts and resources. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like the content we're providing, and also be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is published. Again, my name is Aaron, and I thank you for joining me for this quick tech video.